you're a band. You know what that means? Once you're in, you can't get out. We've been playing this place a lot of years, and you know what? It only gets better. I'm in the same band for 35 years now. You got a crazy maniac like stigma. I enjoy life. I'm having a good time, man. Listen, I want to get a tattoo. I want a picture of Rocky on my back. You got a super serious guy like Roger. Even though we're very different, when we come together as agnostic thought, we're a team, you know? There's nothing that can ever come between us. Nothing. We've changed a lot of people's lives starting right here. <laughs> That's the sound of New York, baby. That's where all the gangsters used to hang out. You used to be able to see all the way to Chinatown. Now there's fucking trees in the way. The New York City hardcore scene was just a byproduct of the 80s. Pissed, angry youth, outcasts, misfits that didn't belong with everyone else. I wanted more than just the name of a band. I wanted a band to speak of uh, social unrest. We are a product of New York. We hung out in the Lower East Side when it was the most dangerous time ever. It was a war zone. Abandoned buildings, shootings, muggings, gangs all around us. That danger created something great. Hardcore is definitely misunderstood. It's really questioning authority, questioning society, questioning everything. This is all I know. This is what I do. I don't know any other way. How do you grow out of a culture? It's not like you're growing out of a shirt or shoes. Roger, can't do this forever. If I'm cut short right now, I don't feel like I've said everything I had to say. I always worry about it. If I could change one thing about my father, it would be to take care of himself because he overextends himself for people. You know, you're bringing sick, but serious shit. I've always said I want to do what I love to do to the day I die. I love it, 60 years old, got a mohawk. I'm gonna play my guitar hard tonight. I might even put on a new strap.